a lot of very exciting data presented this summer um, about CD20, CD3 by specific antibodies. In particular, two abstracts that I might highlight. Um, the EPCOR-1 uh, study of epcoritimab in relapse refractory large B-cell lymphoma and then uh, phase two expansion of glofitimab in diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. And I think what's important about both of these um, presentations is they demonstrate a high level of uh, meaningful activity of uh, bispecific antibodies in patients who have been failed by CAR T-cell therapy. So um, this is really an area of unmet need in diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. How do we best treat patients where CAR T-cell therapy is not delivered durable uh, responses such as hoped? And in both of these um, studies, we see that um, patients who have been treated with CAR T-cell therapy were able to achieve uh, complete responses, um, some, not all, but those that did also manage to have uh, durable responses. And I think also importantly, by specific antibodies, um, may be uh, a therapy that can be applied more broadly because of their relative um, ease of administration. They don't require any specific manufacturing of uh, T-cell or cell-based therapies.